Hey, good morning, everybody. Steelers owner Tony Smith and our new head coach uh, Paul Thompson. We invite questions from the floor, and then afterwards, of course, if you need any one on ones, we'll be happy to oblige. Uh, so, start it up, Bob. Uh, yeah, we might as well get the uh, Dave Sims question out of the way, Tom. Um, people have got to acknowledge your track record, and I'm certainly not being disrespectful in the question, but your abilities are unquestionable. But there will be lots of people suspicious that the gateway to this club came via friendship. How, how would you nail that one? I think my friendship with David Sims is probably the reason that I haven't signed here before. Uh, I think, I think that's just, it's, a, it's an easy excuse, Bob. Uh, myself and Tony, over the last couple of weeks, have, have, have been talking at length about the, the future of the club. Because of my relationships with, with David, I mean, that would never hinder my decision or Tony's decision on what he thinks right for the club going forward. And it's, it, it's an easy parity, it's an easy thing to, uh, to put two and two together and, and say, you know, David was the reason I was here. I, I mean. I think David wants me to coach this hockey club, and I think he has for, for many, many, many years. But uh, I think it was Tony that has the vision for the club, and he feels that I can fulfil the vision that he requires. And, and you know, that's the main story here. And you said you'd, you'd watched 20 matches of Steelers last year. So what's your grasp of the team that Jerry built? And how long have you been sort of monitoring them with the possibility of you looking at after them this year? Well, I watched a lot of the, obviously, I watched all the Coventry. I mean, I was stuck in an apartment block in, uh, in Alberg, and, and if we weren't playing and the Steelers were playing or the, the Blaze were playing, I, I just watched the games from a fan point of view. So I must have watched 10, 15 games that way. And since, you know, over the last week or so, I've probably watched about five games since. And, and to answer your question, I think it's a very good team that Jared built. Uh, and I think it proved that last year. There's a lot of quality there. <coughs> So how do you improve on that? Well, that's the key, isn't it? I have to. You know, for us to go to the next stage, and, and, and we're in the winning, you know, when you, when, when, you, when you coach the Sheffield Steelers, you're coming into a winning organisation that is expected to win. And, uh, you know, to win back-to-back -back championships isn't an easy thing to do because you know, I think I'm the only person that's ever done it in the Elite League era with, with Coventry. And you get to the point where a lot of players are looking for big raises because of their stellar years that they've just had but it has to fit within the budget and, and it has to fit into what now I want with the team going forward so there's a lot of work to do from today onwards without a doubt but a lot of good work and there's a great call already here. Well, what would you say is the main characteristics of a Paul Thompson team? Is it sort of uh, team, team unity, work ethic, flair, strong defence? Yeah togetherness I mean and a buy-in and uh, you know if your best players aren't your hardest workers, you're not going to have success. And if you can bring in your star players and they have a work ethic and an attitude that goes along with what the coaches and the ownership want, you, you know you have a good base and you have to build it from that base. You, know, you can't start the walls without the base. And uh, we have some good players in place already. I need to add to that. I think a Paul Thompson team likes to play gritty, it likes to play fast, it likes to be in good shape. But the key is it has to want to win as a group because that's what makes champions. You've known all of the Steelers coaches. Um, which, which ones do you sort of, if you would compare yourself to one of them or two of them, you know, would, it, would you be a Blazer? Would you be a McKee? Would you be a mixture of that? Or? I don't know. Yeah, I'm Paul Thompson. I, know. I think I'm very happy with the way I coach and obviously the owner is. Uh, I don't look to be anybody else. I forged my own career through a good apprenticeship back in Solihull, 20 odd fantastic years with the Blaze and in Coventry, great memories, winning memories with teams with lower end budgets. So I'm just excited about being here. I think uh, I've earned the right to, ha to get this opportunity and I'm very, very excited to, to have it. Last one for me, because people have been getting bored with me, but when you look at all the big Steelers players, who, who would you identify as a proper Steeler uh, in the true sense? Would it be a Brabant, would it be a Priestley, or would it be a Perry Doyle? <laughs> Good old Perry. Uh, uh, you know, we can, we can keep going back and, and uh, you know, I've, I've got to come in and I've got to forge my identity and the new Steelers' identity. And, and 
you know, we, we've got some, like I say, we've got some very talented players. We've got some of the top British players, if not the top British players in the country playing for the Steelers. And, uh, you know, the identity that I bring into this club will hopefully go on and, 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 and be a successful platform for years to come. So I want my players to create their own identity, like the heroes of the past have. For you, uh, here is a player, part of that winning DNA. Does it feel a bit like unfinished business for yourself? You know, uh, over the years, I mean, you know, I was here in the first year and uh, I saw the club come from nothing with a bunch of boys, young lads, you know, the Bernard Serafinskis, etc., etc., come into this beautiful, brand new, glossy arena, and within two, three months, there was 10,000 people in, in Simsy, you know, and, and he was a massive part of it at that time. I'm not just saying it because it's him, because he brought a, pro, a, a totally new dimension to, to sports with his what he does up in the White House there. And it was fantastic times and it was, it was, it was, it was the new era of ice hockey. It changed the whole, way, you know, it took it from rinks to, to arenas. And you know, the Sheffield Steelers were the team that did that. So, I mean, that was 23, 20, well, 25 years ago. And it's been 23 years, you know, mm. in time that I've come back. And like I say, I'm just excited to, to be, I really, really genuinely am excited to be here. I had to make some really big decisions about my future and my career. And after speaking to Tony at length and my family, I'm glad that I've come to uh, this decision. And so you talk about you know, creating a new kind of identity for the club. Do you have to change the Steelers DNA or do you have to be a little bit careful with that as well? Well, I think I understand the Steelers DNA. You know, I've been coaching against it for God knows how many years. And, and, and you have to embrace what's good about the Steelers, but that doesn't stop me bringing in my own ideas. And, and that, I'm not talking about anybody that's coached or played for this team previously. I can't change that. I can't control that. What I can control, what I have an element of control of, is from today onwards, what I need to do. So will I embrace the Steelers' DNA? Absolutely. But will I put my own stamp on it? 110%. So what's the first item of business for you as a, as a head coach? What's the first thing that you need to do? Well, I'm, I'm going to be talking to all the players. Uh, that played for the club and the staff, and uh, I'm going to be looking to build a staff initially around that, from strength coaches to assistant coaches to statisticians, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And then we'll uh, obviously, while that's going on, the recruiting side is constant; it doesn't change. And I'll be looking to add to the squad and, and, and move guys in and out to where I think will benefit us. So you'll be wanting your own assistants brought in. I don't know yet. You know, I'm speaking to four or five different people. I just want what's best for the club and what I want to implement with the club. So we'll see where that goes. Tony, can I ask you a question, Tony? Um, some people might think you've been a bit quick to cut coaches <coughs> like uh, Finner and Adams and stuff. Uh, can you guarantee <coughs> that Tom O'Rourke's got two years to install the culture that you want? There's no guarantees in this business, Bob. I think. Uh, I've brought Paul in because I believe he can do a great job for Sheffield Steelers and uh, I'd be very surprised if he's not here in two years or even longer. You know, Paul Thompson is my choice. I would have liked Paul Thompson four years ago but uh, he wasn't available and thankfully now after a lot of discussions he's, 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 made, the, he's made the choice and, and he's a Sheffield Steeler. So yeah, I'm very pleased with it. What was it about Paul in particular that you know, was so highly valued by yourself? Well, I've known Paul for the best part of 15 years uh, in various guises and, uh, you know, you watch Paul's career, you watch him as a coach and a person, as an individual, uh, and he's got great qualities and, uh, and qualities that I think will benefit the Steelers and he's got a proven track record. But leaving, leaving Coventry a few years ago and going to Europe has, has sort of ticked a couple more boxes for me. He's got European experience. He's also got experience on the world stage at international level with I think, five years at Great Britain. So th they're qualities that we were looking for going forward. Are there any weaknesses in the side that you picked up over these 20 games that uh, you want to address? Well, I'm looking through it, Bob, and obviously, publicly, I wouldn't come out and say that anyway. I mean, do I feel that we need to improve certain areas? Yeah, 100%. I mean, it was a great team last year. I'm not denying that, but I think we need to get a little bit grittier offensively, I think. Uh, so that's one key area that I'm looking to address. But there wasn't a lot wrong with last year's team. 